So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create product pages for your Shopify dropshipping store. So product pages are super, super important. Um, they're something that I see not enough people putting enough time, thought and effort into just kind of skipping over them, rushing to get their store done so they can start marketing some products. But the way you need to think about it is that your product pages are essentially your first impression with your customer. It's the job, the pure sole focus and job of your Facebook ads to kind of create that intrigue, capture the person's attention and enough interest for them to click on your ad and actually go to your website but when they get to your store your landing page then essentially it's the job of your landing page to then convert that visitor um, into a customer and if you don't make a very good first impression then they're not going to trust you and they're not going to buy your product think about it if you went to buy a car from a car showroom and you're looking around the showroom looking at different cars and then the car salesman comes over and he doesn't give a very good first impression he's not very professional for example um, then you're not going to like him and you're probably not going to buy a car from him either um, and it's pretty much the same thing when it comes to e-commerce as well so what you have to do is put yourself in your customer's shoes or kind of take on the role as the customer yourself if you're going onto a brand new website you've never ever heard of before and there was a product you wanted to buy that was say 50 pounds and you really wanted it there would be certain kind of questions and hesitations in your mind that you would want to satisfy before you actually went ahead and bought that product so things like contact information delivery information reviews how many followers do they have does the site look professional what are the product images like what's the product descriptions like um, does everything make sense is there spelling mistakes grammar mistakes those sorts of things and if you do have those sorts of things then like i said it's not going to give off a very good first impression the customer isn't going to trust you and therefore they're not going to buy your product so in this video i'm going to take you through a whole step by step process of creating a product page for a particular product but before we jump into it one very quick favor to ask and that is if you enjoyed this video at some point and it teaches you something new and you want to see more of my content then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and last but not least um, I like to create these videos um, based on what you guys want I like to obviously put out videos that people that are going to help people that people want to see so if there is a particular video topic you want me to cover um, just comment it down below in the comment section and whichever kind of topic tends to get the most comments or the most likes whatever it is and that tends to be um, what I do next so if there is a particular video you want me to do um, just comment it down below and apart from that thanks for tuning in hope you guys enjoy it um, and let's jump straight into it so this is the product in question um, just to kind of give you a quick introduction of what I've imported across from Aliexpress using Obelo we have the different product images we have the two different types of lamps in which we are selling um, A and then B we have a product image of exactly what the customer is going to receive so they can see exactly what they're going to receive and then we have a fourth image which clearly illustrates how big the different sizes are so as you can see nothing crazy nothing special there's no need to have 20 30 different images if an image isn't there to put across a certain piece of information to your customer um, then just remove it the name I'm going to keep it as space shuttle rocket lamp um, there's, again there's no need to have 10 15 different keywords this isn't eBay this isn't Amazon just short shout to the point and tell the customer exactly what the product is the reason I've got tests there here is because this is a duplicated product page from an existing product on this current store we have the two variants which I'm going to be changing and I'll show you why um, later on in the video and as you can see there's currently no description no reviews or nothing else like that so if we head into our Shopify dashboard we'll head across to the product so this is the product page in question the first change I want to make um, what I really like doing is kind of tailoring the product pages to match the certain products I think it just makes the product page feel that much more kind of engaging um, and relevant to the type of product so to give you an example of how I would do this um, I'm going to change the variant name so more options edit options and instead of just color then that's a bit boring a bit bland I'm going to change this to choose your shuttle since the two different options are two different shuttles and I'm going to keep that as size obviously in fact to make it kind of uniform with choose your shuttle I'm going to change it to choose your size with an exclamation mark just to give it that extra level of excitement if I click done and then hit the save button it's always really important you save your changes um, and then if we reload this page and just check out what it looks like choose your shuttle choose your size in my opinion it's a tiny little difference but it makes a big difference 
Next up, we need to work on the description then. This is where we need to capture the customer's attention um, enough to keep them on our site and interested in our product still, but then also kind of demonstrate and talk about the product in such a way that convinces them to buy it. So if we head back to our um, description box, I'm gonna start off with something like in capitals, just make it big and bold um, so the customer can clearly see it. Plus, because of the type of products we're talking about, space shuttle launches aren't kind of like a quiet thing. They aren't a subdued thing. They are big. They are loud so we want to put across that same feeling when we're writing the text in our description so blast off into sleep with this um, space shuttle lamp with an exclamation I'm gonna hit bold as well just to make it just pop that bit much more um, and separate it from any further text so just to double check everything looks good so I'm just gonna hit preview and make sure everything looks okay on the product page so far so blast off into sleep with this space shuttle launch lamp so it's not too big it's not too small um, looks just right in my opinion next up then what I typically like to do is add some form of a gif something moving on the page again it's just naturally gonna draw like your customers a um, attention draw their eyes to it um, again and something hopefully and preferably that kind of demonstrates what the product does what it looks like when it's functioning um, to encourage them to um, to actually buy the product so insert image I believe I've already um, uploaded this at some point I have it's this one here I'm going to ignore the alt text I'm going to ignore the size for now because we can always come back and change this we can drag and drop it to to be the right size so I'm just going to line it up nicely um, with the header at the top I'm going to go ahead and hit save and then preview it once more again just checking all my steps as I go to make sure everything looks good so blast off into sleep with this space shuttle launch lamp and as you can see the gif is perfectly demonstrating exactly what the product looks like um, along with a video of an actual shuttle launch um, in the background so next up after the gif I like to put um, like a couple of different lines of text just to kind of try and paint the picture of what this would potentially do or look like for for a person if they bought this product so I've already thought this through because sometimes I'm really rubbish um, to kind of tell the truth at writing product descriptions so believe it or not this four line of text did actually take me quite a while to come up with so rather than bore you um, and watch me try and fumble some words together and put something together um, of pre kind of come up with this so I can just copy and paste it in. So as you can see, um, two different lines of text, two different kind of small paragraphs. This LED space shuttle will light up any room of your house by turning it into your very own launch site. It's all branded and themed towards the whole space shuttle launch. Again, if you want to break it up or if there's certain keywords or features you feature um, in these paragraphs, you can select them and then highlight them in bold. If you want to draw your customer's attention, um, to certain features or certain things you're mentioning. So we could have multiple light settings as an example, and just control B that. The space shuttle lamp can be used as a night light um, to help your child sleep. Help your child sleep, Let's put that in bold, um, or a brighter light for reading as well. So a brighter light for reading. Um, moving on, I like to put another image again just to kind of break it up. If you have tons and tons of text in a row, um, then the customer's going to get bored. They're going to see all that kind of paragraphs of text and get a bit overwhelmed. So I'm going to add another image now. I believe I have one uploaded. I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and upload one. Since I've just mentioned um, the fact it can be used as a reading light as well, I've decided to go with this image here, which shows a kid sat at his desk um, reading a book, um, which is then litten. Litten, that's not a word, which is then being lit up um, by this particular product. So everything kind of falls linearly, everything falls and meshes in nicely together. It's not completely random, it's not all over the place. Um, if we hit save and check out the layout, then hopefully everything will kind of um, look nice and professional in line with each other um, and we can carry on. So let's X off that one. Blast off into sleep with this space shuttle launch lamp. We've got a nice GIF. We've got a nice kind of um, four lines of text with another image, which is perfect so far. So moving on, this is where I like to get a bit more kind of um, like clinical about the product so i'm going to go into just the different kind of features and benefits of it so again i had to put quite a bit of time and thought um, into this because i'm rubbish at writing um, so i'm just going to copy and paste this across i've got the different features and then what i've done instead of just using a boring bland bullet point i've used a rocket which is obviously in theme with the actual product itself and i'm only mentioning the things which are relevant to the person who would want to buy it so think of your features and benefits almost like an faq that you're answering the sort of question that your customer would be thinking about the certain product. So 3D printed for ultimate detail and a realistic look, built-in rechargeable battery up to 12 hours of light.
website, which is obviously really important. A customer will want to know that. Um, Eco-friendly, made of biodegradable PLA plastic. There's a lot of people out there now that are more environmental um, conscious so that's definitely a selling point worth mentioning for any product um, and then three different light modes as well so up to this point we've pretty much mentioned everything there is to know about the product so I'm just going to kind of wrap the product description off with another um, nice image I do I'm going to use this one here I'm going to leave it as the default size because I'm going to resize it here now the reason I've gone for this one um, especially because it's this time of year I'm just going to line this up with the ones above um, as you can see, it's the different products um, in a dark setting, so you can clearly see how effective that kind of light up mode is. But then it says Merry Christmas at the bottom, and there's different Xmas gifts in the bottom. So it's a themed image for the time of year, including um, actually demonstrating and showing the products themselves. So a really nice photo that I was able to find on AliExpress. To wrap the product description up then, what I'd like to do um, is what I find is that when somebody's purchasing from a brand new website, even if everything looks really good, um, they want to buy the product everybody's still going to have that kind of niggling thought in the back of their mind of um, what if the description isn't true what if I receive this item and I still don't like it so I like to put something in just to kind of diminish that worry um, so control V this in so not happy with your purchase question mark we want all of our customers to be 100% happy so if for whatever reason you're not um, simply contact us within 30 days and our team will be happy to help so again it just kind of diminishes that worry and they know that within 30 days of receiving the item if they're not happy with it they can simply return it to us if you want to make it that bit more convenient for your customer in terms of finding the contact us details highlight the contact us or highlight where you link, want the link to be um, hit this insert link um, take the um, URL of your contact us page and simply paste it into here insert a link hit save and then once this is finished save if we hit preview then our product description should look nice and professional. As we scroll down then, as you can see, it's kind of like a nice balance between text, between images. If it was all text and all the way down, then your customers will lose interest, they'll get bored and they'll just leave. They won't read all of the information. Whereas if you break it up with images, it keeps their attention um, and it makes them much more likely to actually um, take in the information and if they do they're much more likely to buy your product so as far as product descriptions go then this pretty much is the default template I use for every single product um, depending on what the product is there may be certain things I chop and change to kind of match and keep things in keeping in with themes of a certain product but if you follow this I'm sure it'll really help you out especially if you've been struggling with your product descriptions so if you do implement this make sure you do come back and leave a comment on this video I want to know the sort of um, difference this makes to you and your store your business apart from this the only other thing then I would implement onto my product pages would be the reviews at the bottom so you can do this multiple ways you can use the free Shopify review app you can use looks um, to import them from AliExpress reviews are very very they're seriously important in fact um, and very heavily dependent on the success of your store will depend on how many reviews you have of your products so don't skip that step there's loads and loads of different video tutorials on YouTube on how to import reviews so I'm not going to show you in this video perhaps if you want me to show you then just um, let me know in the comment section below and that'll be the next video I do some form of like a looks um, tutorial review or something like that so apart from that then guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it like I said make sure you implement this template um, implement it into your stores come back let me know the differences and changes it makes to you um, thanks so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and one final thing then before you go if you are looking for a Shopify dropshipping program not just dropshipping in fact it covers how to import products in bulk as well comes with my full support and guidance uh, we've got a really nice awesome in fact a um, bunch of people um, in the Facebook group as well so there's loads of different support resources it's not just some video content you'll get access to you will get access to me as well for that one-on-one -on -one support and guidance um, if that is something that interests you make sure you check out my ecom academy there will be a link to it in the description below apart from that thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one